What is going on you little cunts? It is of course your boy Wolfgang here today. So today I'm bringing you little cunts a video that's a little bit overdue, you know? I feel like I probably should have made this video a little bit sooner. But yeah, basically what I'm going to be doing today is showing you all the little Call of Duty clips where I've spun around and shot some cunt. I'm going to be showing you guys all the ones where I've either faked it or set up the clip. Now like I said, I probably should have done this video sooner. I've wanted to do it for a while now just to sort of show that I really don't give a fuck about Call of Duty trick shotting or going for clips anymore. Sadly, there was once a time when I actually gave a fuck about this shit and I actually wanted to hit trick shots and I went to the extent of doing half of this shit. I haven't heard of anything more fucking pathetic in my life. Now don't get me wrong you little cunts, I'm still gonna trick shot. Don't, don't take that as me not trick shotting anymore, I'm just gonna do it for fun now. I'm not gonna do it with the grind to get in teens and shit or get an upload happening. But basically there was one video on my whole entire channel that can sum up all the fake clips I've ever fucking done. And the funny thing is like only one person has ever like come up to me and like tweeted at me saying that there was fake clips in here. But when you watch the video, the clips are so fucking ridiculous, I don't know how anyone could fucking believe it. It was basically this edit that I did to a bunch of clips and I actually don't edit a whole lot and I reckon the edit came out pretty good So that's one thing I actually like about the video. It's a pretty simple edit, but it's alright for me You know, it's pretty good for me But basically I ended up taking this video down from my channel and I might put it back up to be honest after this video But what I'll do is I'll actually play the whole video for you guys Not all the clips in this are fake and I'll let you guys try and decide which ones were fake And then at the end I will tell you guys which ones were fake or set up But anyway, without further ado, let's get right into the shitstorm, shall we fellas? Alright, so what I want you cunts to do right now is to pause this video and go down below and comment which one of these clips you thought was fake or set up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to bring back a little segment I used to do on my editor map trick shotting video. Some of you guys might remember this. Take it away, Inspector Wolfgang. I mean, game show host Wolfgang. It's time to play... Did he use aimbot in this trick shot? All you have to do is leave a comment down below telling us whether you think this guy used aimbot or not. You have exactly five seconds to do so. Alright, so now that you guys have locked in your answers, let's start picking apart these clips, you know? Let's check out this first clip right here. Alright, so this clip right here, it's a really fucking nice shot, but guess what, boys? It's fake as fuck! Now, as a cunt ever gonna hit a shot with an LMG? Who fucking believes that, man? I don't know how I got away with this shit. And the sad thing is, I actually used this clip right here to clickbait a video that was just a private match face-off trickshotting video. So I used a fake clip to clickbait a video to get people to watch a video that was just a private match trickshotting video. I am truly the scum of the earth. Alright, so what I actually did in this video, it's in private match, it's in an Azzle lobby. If you guys don't know what that is, I don't know how the fuck you wouldn't know what an Azzle lobby is. I actually done this very technique on a couple of the clips in this video, but I go into an Azzle lobby and I wouldn't use aimbot and I'd use like red guns to hit trick shots. So the shots were hit legit, like the bullets connected and shit. I didn't use aimbot, it was just that it was in private match. And you know, an Azzle lobby like calculates all the match bonuses and shit, but half the time they're off, so barely any of these match bonuses 
Ancestors are on. I thought it was pretty smart to be honest doing this. If anyone said that was an Azalobby, I'd be like, dude, you can't get aimbot on a red gun in an Azalobby, you dickhead. All right, so this clip right here, it's real. It was online and shit. It's just that these two kids were setting up for me. These two kids were actually just standing there tagging each other. These two dudes were like tagging each other so I wouldn't get a hit marker with the foul. I remember I hit marker this shot like six fucking times and I used to like get mad at the poor cunts because they weren't tagging each other often enough. This is another example of me thinking I'm all smart and shit. See, this is a lock free for all lobby. At the time, every cunt was doing lock search and destroy lobbies. They were doing bomb lobbies. And you know, if you uploaded a bomb lobby clip, everyone knew it was in a bomb lobby. So I thought it was pretty smart doing it in free for all. Because no one really had thought of it back then. And that way I could go, oh, well, how could I set up in free for all? Because everyone's like trying to sweat on you and shit. Everyone's trying to kill you. How can it be set up, you dickhead? But basically how the whole setup worked is you'd have four people in a locked free for all lobby. Two people would stand in the middle of the map and the other two would just keep running to you, letting you kill them. And then you and your teammate or whatever would get to last and the other two guys would set up for you. And then the next game you swap over and you keep running into the middle and let them kill you and then you set up for them. I actually found some footage the other day of me getting to last and like trying to go for like feeds on kids that were just running into me. I kept trying to get the triple headshot feed with a titty knack in the middle, but I could never get the other headshot. Like, that's sadder than setting up trick shots, trying to, like, set up a feed. But I remember you could do some, like, really smart ass shit, like, do some fake distance stuff. Like, you could put one kid really far away across the map and put the other kid really close in a wall bang, and you look at the other kid and you tag him or whatever, while he's tagging the kid in the wall bang, and then you go for a shot on him and you actually hit the kid in the wall bang and not the kid really far away. That's a little bit confusing, I know, but I'll show you guys what I mean. See how the kid that I look at first is really far away, but the kid I actually hit's just sitting right there behind the wall? So I actually deleted a lot of the raw clips from those times, but for some reason I kept these hit markers, and obviously these are the results of the two cunts not tagging each other, and I used to get really mad about that. Alright, so another clip that I hit in a free-for-all lock lobby that some of you cunts might actually know, I've used it for recreating some of my best trick shots online, which they were online, but they were obviously in a lock free-for-all. So uh, yeah, that's another example of me using a setup clip or a fake clip to clickbait one of my videos. But I know a lot of you guys actually won't be expecting this one to be set up. I don't know how. It's a fucking ridiculous clip. But it was in a free-for-all lock lobby. The two dudes were under the boat tagging each other. But anyway, let's continue on with this edit, shall we? Because we've got a couple more clips to go. Alright, so this clip right here, anyone who believes this clip's a fucking idiot. Because I hit it with a fucking pistol. You literally gotta be a fucking madman if you believe that I hit this shot legit. This is exact same as the first clip. I hit it in an Azalobby with no aimbot. That's it. And this one right here, this is one of the rare cases where I went into an Azalobby and I actually used the fucking aimbot. Look at that, boys actually use the aimbot. At least I'm pretty sure this one was an Azzle Lobby. I actually can't remember. I can't imagine myself hitting that online. I'm not gonna lie. Even in a bomb lobby, I can't imagine myself hitting that one. And this one right here, this one was in a bomb lobby. This wasn't an Azzle Lobby. This guy was actually setting up for me. I couldn't believe I hit this. Even to hit this in a bomb lobby, I feel like it's pretty hard, but I just told everyone that it was online and the kid decided to set up, but it was obviously in a bomb lobby. It is still one of my best shots to this day, even though the guy was obviously setting up, obviously, because I fucking tagged the cunt. This is one of the rare ones where I must have just decided to keep the raw clip for this one so I'll show you guys that right now. It's like, just look at me tagging that guy. Like, how could that not be any more set up? But I must have kept this clip because I must have thought, you know, it's a, ni it's a nice clip and I wanted to keep it. But it was obviously a fucking bomb lobby. I love how they're all reacting to a bomb lobby clip, by the way. That's the fucking funny part. Even I was, I'm not going to lie. But I used to do, like, sneaky things like hide me tagging him. I'd cut that out of the video when I'd uploaded it. Or I'd cut the kill cam short so you wouldn't see me tagging the kid or some shit like that. Or I'd cut it out before I showed the scoreboard because if you show the scoreboard, it gives away that it's a bomb lobby, obviously. I don't know if I showed the scoreboard in this one. Yep, there it is there. It flashed right at the end. I would have cut that out when I uploaded that clip just to show that it wasn't a bomb lobby when it quite obviously fucking was. All right, this next clip here, this was another as a lobby, the Adalia to the RCXD fucking cancel thing. I was right into like complex trick shotting, like I watched Jade and stuff. I like, like, I can't remember the name of the teams, Jade and the gods and stuff. But that one wasn't as a lobby. This one here was fucking legit. I don't even know how I hit this one today. I swear to God, this shot is legit. Every shot 
like this one that's in a live com or in a video it was legit except for the ones that were like recreating my shots and I'm trying to recreate the shots I hit online to clickbait my video. Now I know that's going to be pretty hard for most of you guys to believe now that I've showed you this but all these shots were when I was still a player I hadn't decided to become a commentator or a director or a content creator yet. Basically when I made the decision to start making videos and commentaries and stuff like that I forgot all about that stuff and I stopped doing it because I was getting more subs and views and more respect being a content creator than I ever did being a player man. But like I said it's going to be hard for you little cunts to believe right now but I can assure you guys all the shots that I've ever hit in commentary and live comms and cut comms, they were all real. All the titty knacks and shit like that, they were all real. If you guys don't believe me, well, I don't blame you to be honest after this, but um, also I don't really give a fuck. But to me, some of my best moments and some of my best trick shots and my best videos were the legit trick shots like the, you know, the DSR titty knack and stuff like that. I got such a better feeling doing that, like hitting him legit and making videos at the same time and trying to be funny to you guys. I got such a better feeling doing that than I ever did, you know, like trying to set up clips and shit. Looking back on it, it's pretty fucking pathetic, I'm not gonna lie. Like, who actually cares that much about trick shots? At the time, I guess in my head I was thinking like if I hit better trick shots, if I set up shots and hit better shots than everyone else or hit more consistently, I'll get in a better team and a bigger team will help my YouTube channel grow, but it really didn't work out that way and it was just really pathetic at the end of the day. I got more successful doing my um, my own videos, my own commentaries and shit like that. I really don't know if there's a lesson to be learnt from all this, except for just do whatever the fuck you want on Call of Duty. I won't judge you. I personally think it's a waste of time to be like trying to set up clips and shit, but yeah, do whatever the fuck you want. I don't give a fuck. This is sort of something that I want to do for a while now. I wanted to put all this shit behind me. It's something for me I wanted to do for myself. I wanted to show that I don't give a fuck about this stuff anymore and I can move on because I've put it behind me. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Some of you guys might look at me a little bit differently now, but I really don't give a fuck to be honest. If you guys did enjoy it, leave a like on it and that's it for me guys. I am out. Peace.